Hey guys, Mila the Hangry Woman here and today I'm going to show you a really interesting hack that I found with my insulin pens. Um, there's still some insulin left in your insulin pens when you are finished with it or it looks like it's spent and I found a way to actually get that extra insulin out of there. Quite interesting and also quite easy, especially if you've used syringes before. Before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're interested in food and diabetes lifestyle content. I produce weekly videos about living with diabetes that includes awesome recipes and interesting diabetes information like this. So if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't like this kind of stuff, it's okay to just move on and find somebody who you identify with. So we have two insulin pens here. Both of them, I wanna show you, are completely out of insulin. So they are right at the end of their life. I could not twist anymore, couldn't use them anymore. Like nothing happens when you twist the ends of it. And so I found out that you can pull insulin from these pens. And I typically take a certain dose every single day of my insulin. This is long acting insulin, so it lasts in my body for 24 hours. I take one injection of this a day and it keeps me alive. So I have to take it, I don't have a choice. But you can see there's like this little tiny gap in here and I always wondered if there was like any extra insulin that I could pull and if there was how I could do it. And so I found a way to be able to do it with insulin syringes. And so we're gonna do both of these pens. Um, and first, let me disclaimer this by saying, I am not your doctor, so this is not medical advice. I'm just showing you a little hack that I found, thought it was interesting. For me, the insulin was usable. It did help with leveling out my blood sugar and I literally took it straight from the syringe. So my approach was that at the end of the life of the syringe, because typically room temperature, I will take my insulin and then I'll put it out at room temperature. It lasts that way for 28 days, but it doesn't take me 28 days to use it. And by the end of my dose, I typically, or the end of my pen's life, I usually have to undo a new insulin pen and then kind of start the process over because I need the extra units from the new pen. And so I was able to pull out enough from the first pen that I tried this with to be able to cover the dose that I would normally miss. So we're gonna do that. And so what I do with this is I have a syringe and I'm not gonna use this insulin actually. I know that seems very wasteful, but these pens are past their 28 day prime. They're like way past the room temperature point. Um, I could keep them and try to use them for later, but I don't know, maybe I will do that. I don't wanna be wasteful about it. So anyway, so you take the cap off and take off the top of the syringe cap. You make sure that everything is in place. And then typically the way that you would use a syringe, like if you're using a vial of insulin, is you would pull back to however many units you needed. And then this is what you would inject back in. So you push the air back in to then make it easier to draw the insulin out of the vial. So same type of approach here, but we're just using an insulin pen to draw it out of. So I have pulled the plunger to 20. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it and typically you can wipe this off with a sterile alcohol pad. I've washed my hands so I feel okay about this and this is my insulin, I'm not giving this to anybody else. And then what you do here is you stick this in the top and then you draw out the insulin. So let me show you how to do that. So it goes, oh, I hope you can see it. It goes straight in. We'll push the air in to the insulin pen and 20 units might've been too much. 
we're gonna see what we can pull out and then we're gonna draw back to draw out any insulin. Up oh, there it goes. So I just pulled it out a little bit. And so each time I do this, I get about 10 units of insulin out. Let's see if we get any more by pulling it back. I think 10 units is all that's left in this one. So this one's done. Then you can see it had some air bubbles. So what we do for air bubbles is, ooh, this might have gotten actually more than 10 units. We do a little tap. So that typically gets the air bubbles out of the top and then a slow plunge. <laughs> it's like really weird to be showing this. I do it all the time. Slow plunge to push the air bubbles back up and you'll kind of see them. They've like floated to the top up here. You can see them. And then you don't want to waste any. But it looks like, yeah, there's still some bubbles. There we go. So it's literally right at 10 units. And that's 10 usable units of insulin. So you just want to, and there's, I still see a little air bubble up there. So you always make sure you plunge out any air bubbles that you have in there. And you might have, you might end up with like a tiny bit that comes back out, but that looks pretty good. And then this is a longer needle than I'm used to, but I can still certainly, I can take it using this syringe. This is like the same kind of syringe you might use when you're using a vial instead of a pen. So I actually, this pen is spent totally. There's no more insulin in here. So we'll do a second one. And actually I'll probably just take these doses tonight because I typically take um, 40 units of insulin at night. And so this, if this one comes out to also be 10 units left in there, um, that will be the amount, that will be half the amount that I normally take. And so I won't actually have to like redo a whole pen. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. So same thing, uncap. So you've got the plunger, you uncap the plunger uncap the needle itself, pull back, and I'll just pull back to like 15 units this time. It's a lot easier. So insulin here, and then same thing. We'll go down, we'll push the air down into the pen, and then we'll bring it back up and we'll see if there's, ah, uh, yep. There's just a little bit left in this one, looks like. So, not as much. Yeah, this one didn't have very much left. Oh, maybe, let's see. I might have just, Yeah, looks like this one only had like five units left in it. So. Oh no. Okay, this one had a lot. No, it didn't, I lied. <laughs> this one had like barely anything in it. Let's try it again, just to make sure I didn't do it wrong. So, needle in, push for air. And then pull back the plunger. Up oh, there it goes. So 
So this one. This one has like five or six units. Oh no, 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 no. This one. Okay, this one has 10 units also. There's a little bit of a bubble in here. Let's see if we can get it all the way to 10. I don't think I pulled. Okay, I think this one looks like it has, I think it would have had 10 units. I think that I squirted a little on the way out. So tap it to make sure we reduce bubbles without wasting any liquid. That's the really hard part. So you wanna get the bubbles out, but you don't want to squirt any liquid. Sweet. Yeah, now I have some insulin to use tonight. So this was right at 10 units. So you can see the liquid right here in the top. That's extra insulin that was in the pen. So I'm gonna use these two tonight to supplement my insulin injections. Um, I will have to open another pen anyway, but it'll be really interesting to see. It's all the same insulin, so it should work just fine, but I thought that that was really interesting. Um, and I tend to get about 10 units out of every pen, which is nothing to sneeze at. 10 units is a lot of insulin, especially when it's so expensive and it's liquid gold. I can also show you that unopened this insulin, this one expired in 2022, and then this one expired in 2023. Um, both of these pens are from this past month. So I think, I mean, I said earlier that I'm not sure that I'm in the 28 day window. I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, what I have found is that warm insulin actually will last a little longer than the 28 day window. Um, and if my blood sugars are high, then I know that it didn't work. So if you are going to do this, which I'm not condoning, but I'm just saying if you are, if you do end up trying this, um, I would do this right at the end of your pen so that it doesn't expire and you use it within that 28 day window just so you're safe and your insulin is still effective at that point. I'm not saying that you should do this. I'm just telling you what I found um, because I think it's interesting and because insulin is so expensive and like I said, 10 units of this 100 unit pen is nothing to sneeze at. Like 10 units is a lot of insulin, even in terms of long acting um, and being able to pull that much is really interesting, but it, I don't know, like if it's in the pen, you might as well use it. So I just think that that's interesting and that was a cool way that I saw to be able to stretch insulin if you need it and just really interesting that there's still units left over in the pen and the pen does not spend all of the units that are actually in here. Um, I will also say it's good to know that there are 10 extra units in my pen. I don't know if it'll be the same for yours and it depends on if you basically have a dosage where you prime the needle. I don't always prime because I haven't had issues with my pens not working. I'll maybe prime the first dose and do it with like one unit of insulin. So if you're not priming, you may see that you have more units left in your pen. Um, you may have less, I don't know, I don't know. It's, I just, basically this is information. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting and I thought I would share. So um, let me know if you've ever done this with your insulin pen, I just think it's a really, kind of interesting experiment to do. I have needles um, for vials as well as actual pen needles. So I thought that it was really interesting to be able to use the vials 
needles to pull more insulin out of the pens. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it and it was something that you didn't know, leave me a comment down below. If it is something you knew, I'm curious about why you never told me about it. <laughs> so hopefully this video was helpful to you. And if you want more diabetes content, do be sure to leave me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel so that you can be the first to know about videos that come up especially if you hit the bell so that you can know that you can be the first one, first one to comment always um, when my videos show up in your feed. So that's it for this one and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.